After two days of bad weather, today we're on a catch-up. We visit Porth Guara, Porth Chapel and Nan Gizzle, and we finish pretty close to Land's End. Grabbed myself a delicious breakfast bat from the Porth Guara Cove Cafe before heading down onto the beach. There's something special about rowing boats in sandy coves down in Cornwall. It always makes me think of pirates and smugglers. The entrance through the tunnel. The tunnels were dug by miners from St Just around 1880 at the same time as the slipway was put in. These tunnels through the cliffs were used for filming of the Poldock series. bay right next to Porth Garra. Inaccessible it seems, but uh, you may be able to get round the headland when the tide is out. But certainly a little secret gem. Absolutely stunning. We have Land's 
extend about a mile around the coast the way we're facing and behind me the Minak Theatre is about half a mile or so. The beach I'm trying to get to is just to my left. the path that should take me there just below that next ridge. Here we are, Porth Chapel Beach. The next target. It's a stunning little place with a tiny little beach as the tide's in or coming in. Um, how I need to find a way to get down to it, quite difficult I'm told, but here goes. people have found it so it's not so secret anymore. In they come, one after the other.
find a way out. When I stand here on these beaches and natural coves that have taken millions of years to form, I really do wonder what the alarm is all about. Over 50 years of visiting Cornwall and I don't see any signs of the sea rising. is my way out. Only way in, only way out. Blimey. Not good on the knees. Moved on and found a parking space for a, a walk to Nanjizel. It's about a mile and a half away.
tide is well in and jizzle so that's another one that's defeated me getting down to the beach but another stunning place no idea how you get down there Nice hot shower back at camp before heading down to the village local for a slap up meal. I really enjoyed today. Thank you for watching my car camping, travel and walking adventures with the shed. Your comments and constructive criticisms are welcome, but please do like, share, subscribe and don't forget to press that little bell.